Hello, and welcome to Biker Bushcraft. I know it's been a little while, but I'm still out there, I'm still riding. I haven't been out camping too much, a lot of things going on. Yeah. I'm going to do a short loadout video, pick my gear. I'm just going to do a short overnighter, but the temps have gotten to a point where they're fairly comfortable and uh, we can have campfires. So let's take a look at the gear I'm going to bring. Um, some of you will also notice that I'm on the Road King. Uh, the soft tail has gone to a new home. Actually, it went back to its original home, the guy that built it. And uh, we picked up uh, another bike, but um, the Road King is still my go-to. So here's my mess of gear. I've got this uh, crate that I put everything in. But before I get started, um, some buddies of mine over at Bigfoot Bushcraft sent me a fire starting kit to check out and review. So I'm going to be doing that. Um, I'll start off with just kind of talking about what I got. And so I got this really nice sealed bag, resealable bag of fire plugs. I got a tin to keep the fire plugs in. And I received a fire steel and a striker. Let's see what else is in here? And a spare striker and a lanyard. So, as most of you know, I pretty consistently use a fire steel for everything, and I've got one on my knife, of course. Um, and when fires are difficult to start, and if you look back, you'll know I've, I did a video on starting a fire in wet, snowy, cold conditions. Um, anything you can do to even the odds is worth doing. Uh, I often use cotton infused with Vaseline that works really well, um, but it does dry out over time. Um, I've already loaded the tin here, and these look like they're going to hold up pretty good. I'm, I'm actually looking forward to using them. Uh, one of the other questions I get a lot, asked a lot is about my toolkit. This is the tool bag I bring, and there's a bunch of stuff on this. If I were to give any advice on a toolkit, is whenever you're maintaining, working on, fixing your bike, only use your toolkit. And that's how you're going to find out if you have the tools that you need. If you don't have something you need, add it. If you have something that you never use, maybe you don't need it in there. I got a lot of stuff, but I tend to be able to fix everything and I use everything that's in here. This is tried and true. This thing's been across the country with me a few times and I know exactly what's in it. I know that I have what I need, and it's a good kit. This goes over on the left saddle bag. Now, my kitchen all fits in here. I, of course, put my fire kit in here as well, and this zips up. It's in the sink. And I've already loaded all the fire plugs uh, into the tin, so I won't be bringing those. I'm also going to put my towel in here. cooler for my food, not loaded yet, but I'm going to throw my water bottle, my egg bag in here. What this does is it kind of reserves space for me. It tells me how many for me. I'm going to stuff this also down in the saddle bag. And it's really not compacted. 
I can put a couple of days worth of food in here and with no problem at all. My bag of personal items, I can either put in this saddle bag and there's room this time. If there wasn't, I'd put it in my other saddle bag. I usually keep it over there because that's stuff that I don't need immediately when I go camping most of the time. Um, but I'm going to throw it in this bag for now. Tools. My Graham Force Brooks small forest axe. I'm going to put in a torque pack. My saw. I'm going to put in a torque pack. My shovel. Also, I'm going to put in the torque pack. A lot of room in that torque pack. The uh, Baffin camping slippers I'm going to put in the tour pack. Cool blanket. And my pillow, let's see, let's stuff that in the tour pack. And the sleeping mat I'm going to put over in the other side. check water bottles. Um, I can do a couple of things with these. I can put these inside the saddlebag in the top and they will fit. I can make more room in the tour pack, although that's pretty stuffed right now. I can strap them on here and I've, I've got these racks on the saddlebags. Work pretty well. Um, but I've done this before. In fact, when I first tried it on this bike, this is how I set it up. I strapped it onto these racks, and that works. So, a lot of options. I'm not sure until I fill these with water where I'm going to put them yet, but I'll figure that out. And my frog togs, poncho, again, emergency kit I'm going to put over here. Now, well, a lot of you are not going to be taking that I need to leave room for. You're wondering why I'm not putting more in that saddlebag. Is my camera here. Uh, I've got a couple of small Pelican cases that go in that saddlebag with my camera gear. And so I've got to leave room for those. The other thing that you'll notice is that when I pack, I try to make sure there's nothing outside the bike. There's a few reasons for that. One is security. I'm going to lock everything up. Uh, if I stop for gas, if I stop to go into a store or something like that, I can lock everything up and it's not obvious. It's less likely to get messed with or stolen. It's also better for me because people don't necessarily know that I'm uh, traveling. They don't know that I'm camping and so it allows me to, it allows me to be a little bit more stealthy in what I'm doing. I want to thank all of you for watching this video and for those of you who followed me from the beginning. I really appreciate all of you and I appreciate you sticking with it even though it's been a few years since I've been active on the channel, but I'm working on bringing it back. Um, been a few challenges but uh, I'm starting to feel creatively inspired again and uh, this is the first step actually turning on the camera sitting down in front of it and talking to all of you. Um, 
So there should be more to follow. I don't know how frequently I'll be able to post videos, but I do intend to continue posting them. The channel is not dead. I will probably be including my old lady in some of these. Um, she really loves to go camping with me and actually rides everywhere with me. Uh, her health has been a little bit challenging and that's why she was never on the videos before. But um, she's working on getting back and really wants to be part of it. So with any luck, um, you'll see a little bit more packed on the bike. And when she comes along, I've got to pack a um, sleeping pad for her and a uh, pillow and a sleeping bag. She likes sleeping bags. I don't know why. I can't sleep in the darn things. But um, you'll know it when I'm packed up with stuff outside the bike. That means she's coming along. So uh, that's, that's things in the future. I appreciate if all of you will keep watching. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so that you know when I'm coming out with a new video, since it is infrequent. And if you don't like my videos at all, okay. Uh, but uh, for those of you who like it, um, I enjoy doing this, and uh, I hope you'll keep watching. See you in the next one.